Previously on Hood Life, Cash got word the FBI would soon be moving in to make an arrest. But after receiving a phone call saying his brother Duda got shot, he plans an emergency trip to New York. While in New York, Cash dropped off more drugs to his Italian connect, old man. Knowing there's a good chance he may be gone a while, he decides to purchase an engagement ring for Catalina. Instead of closing down shop at the dispensary, Cash reaches out to an old friend and gives him the opportunity to get off the streets. We are only 8K away from our 100K goal, so don't forget to smack that subscribe button if you haven't already. Daddy sent me to the salon to get my hair and nails done for tonight. We will be having a big going away party and he wants to make sure I'm looking good. I'm so happy to finally be taking these braids down, yo. I have a big secret and I've been keeping it from Cash, but I just haven't found the right time to tell him. I know he's nervous about turning himself in, but honestly, he hasn't shown it at all. I mean, when we're together, he acts like it's no big deal. Man, as time gets closer, this shit gets harder and harder. I'm turning myself in tomorrow, so this is technically my last 24 hours as a free man. Yeah, I've had my thoughts about fleeing the country, but for what? To live the rest of my life on the run, looking over my shoulder? Nah, that's no way to live. See, my plan was to propose to Catalina, but I decided not to. Maybe I'm just having cold feet, but I didn't want the biggest moment of our life to end with me walking into a damn police station. So I'll just wait until I get out. But as for tonight, you know I'm finna show my ass. I'm bringing the whole city out. Topping, you really go missing. Niggas ain't with it, but saying they with it. Shit really stop lying. I'm sick of you niggas. I clutch Glock 9, I up it, we spin it. City gon' slide, I wait on the niggas. Talk about bands, but we really got those. I spent on the rib, you spent on some clothes. I got in the studio, you was chasing them hoes. Now that my crew, please don't call me your bro. I'm not trying to uh, bro. Uh, that's cool, like, you don't call me your bro. I'm on my way with that bullshit. Yeah. When I hop out, she see that I'm dripping. She noticed that my gang with me, she liking how I'm living. Keep that thing on me, it settles every difference Niggas got a problem, I'ma solve it, it's no issue We don't fight over no shorties, bitches choosing it's their nature I got straight to the money, know this niggas getting fake A what when you and I was down, don't you ask me for no favors I'm sorry little mama, can't commit, that's not my flavor She don't like it when I'm out, say that she just cannot trust me And really I can't blame her, I don't owe that shorty nothing I told her what it was before we even started
fucking friend. Well, y'all, it's one thing after another. This morning before leaving, Catalina let me know she was pregnant. Now, I'm not gonna lie, man, that shit pissed me off. Like, why would she wait until the day of to tell me something like that? Like, honestly, who the fuck does that? And, on top of that, she let me know she's been talking to her pops about moving back home while I'm away. Well, that started a big-ass argument, and we both probably said a few things that we'll later regret. Now, my attorney said he's gonna try to get me a bond you know, until the start of my trial, but that's highly unlikely. And honestly, I was thinking, man, it's probably best I sit in there for a while. I think I need some time to map things out, you know, get my head on straight. But say, man, I love y'all, and I hope y'all hold the channel down while I'm away. Until we meet again, Cash. Week after week, you bring this stolen crap into my store. I've told you time and time, nobody wants to buy this shit. Now turn around and walk out the door before I call the police, you damn jailbird. I've been out of jail exactly 17 days. And I swear I've almost killed like 32 niggas. It's almost like everybody been testing me. But I promised myself I wouldn't go back. Now look, I don't know how much Cass told y'all about me. But my name is Big A. So you probably know me from the football field though. I was a standout running back from Inglewood High School. And then I became a true freshman up at UCLA. Now look, I'm not gonna sit back and say a nigga was gonna make it to the league. But I was cold as hell. All that changed though. Niggas killed my older brother. Did them dirty. Did them in the worst way. Well, that created a monster. As soon as I got the news, I immediately left school and went to them niggas block busting. But lucky for them, nobody was outside. I wasn't even thinking straight. I was in a rage. <laughs> Shit, I ain't even wear no mask. Later that night, the SWAT team and the sheriff pulled up to my mom's house, guns drawn, looking for yours truly. That led to me serving a four-year prison sentence for aggravated assault and throwing away any future chances of making it to the league. Prison taught me a lot though. It taught me how to become a man and a better criminal. Now I'm out of jail and I don't got shit. I've been staying at this hotel for the past few weeks and I was able to come up on this here truck. In the nighttime, I normally go kick in some doors, you know, try to find some shit I can pawn. But as of late, I ain't had no luck. With the little money I did have, I bought some studio equipment and paid this engineer to mix my shit. But they ain't bringing in no money just yet. Thankfully, Cash reached out though. He gave me a job at the dispensary. That'll keep me afloat for the time being, but pretty soon something else gonna have to shake. <laughs> 